Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I've had a few questions about uh, the web player working because anybody who's worked in the web player with sockets knows that there is a uh, a list here of stuff that you just have to know about cross domain and uh, what you have to do and look out for in networking. So, uh, basically, what you have to do to get networking working in the web player with our system is absolutely nothing. It works right out of the box. Everything just straight works. Uh, you don't have to do any extra work just to work in the web player. That being said, there is a couple of things that you have to know about the web player. The first thing is you cannot host a server from a web player instance, so your players who play via the web player will not be able to host a server. It's a browser-based restriction. So you, you can't have listening sockets. Uh, the second thing to note is that every time that you make a connection to send... Uh, or receive information, you actually have to be authenticated by the external domain uh, via some extra socket and all this other stuff. That being said, TCP does it right when you start, and UDP does it every single time you send a message. So in the case of the web player, UDP is actually slower because it has to make a connection every single time that you want to uh, send any kind of packet. So. Uh, what we're going to do to set this up to work with the web player right now is we're actually going to open up this script and change it from UDP to TCP on both these guys. And with that, we are ready. So I'm going to build to the web player, to build and run. I'm going to save it to that game folder. And this will run an instance uh, inside of Firefox. I'm using Firefox here. Uh, this start server won't work because, like I said, you can't host server. So since you can't host a server, uh, the, if you have your platform settings to web player inside of the editor, it simulates being a plugin on uh, the internet or on a, on a web browser. So it actually won't let you host a server while you have this selected. So you can just select the PC platform and uh, go to, to switch to that platform. So I will press play over here. I'll start the server here in Unity. Go back into here, start the client. You can see that it's connected, and now for me to grab this guy and rotate it around and change its position. All right, so that's it working with TCP uh, in the web player. So there is no extra setup. There's all the stuff is set up in the background of the engine, uh, or sorry, of the networking system to automatically create the extra port that the web player has to request on, send the request, all that stuff. Uh, at its very simplest form, it automatically does everything. And at its uh, most advanced form, you can actually assign what port it, it selects, you can assign uh, what port range is allowed, all that stuff. So, uh, but out of the box, it, it's, uh, it just works. So that's the web player. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or I didn't cover enough, uh, kind of a, an overview of this. So until then, I'll see you next time.